Hey folks, Mr. Bullock here, and uh, we're going to take that last lesson with the corresponding angles and alternate interior and so on and so on, and we're going to use those with parallel lines cut by a transversal. But let's take care of the board problem first. Let's identify uh, the types of angles. So here we have number uh, five and seven. Here's five right here. Here's seven. Can you see five sliding right on top of seven if these two lines came together? So those would be corresponding angles. Okay, so that would be corresponding. All right, three and six. All right, so three's here, six here. They're, these guys are alternating on the transversal. One's on one side, one's on the other. And they're inside these two lines, so alternate interior angles. One and eight. Here's one, here's eight. One's on one side, one's on the other side, and they're outside the two uh, lines, so alternate exterior. Seven and eight. These guys, remember those ones? Those ones make up a straight line. Line, line means linear, linear pair. They're a linear pair. Okay, 11 and 16. Where are they? Over here, 11 and 16. Those guys are definitely vertical angles right there. All right, so uh, we're going to start doing in my classes uh, some construction. So you need to have uh, my kids um, uh, by this time a straight edge and compass. So, uh, but let's go use uh, parallel lines with transversals. The two parallel lines are cut by a transversal. Okay, so can you see the two parallel lines, the parallels with the reds? Uh, there's my blue parallel lines cut by the purple transversal right there. Uh, if that happens, then corresponding angles are equal. So all the corresponding angles are equal. So uh, 1 equals 5, uh, 2 equals 6, 4 equals 8. And don't they look like they're equal? doesn't look like if 1 had slid right down on 5, it, they would be exactly identical. 8 would slide right into 4 and so on. So corresponding angles are equal. Alternate interior angles are equal. So 4 and 6 are congruent, and then 3 and 5 would be congruent also. Alternate exterior angles would be congruent. So uh, that would be like 1 and 7, these two guys, and then and then 2 and 8, okay, alternate exterior angles. And then consecutive interior angles are supplementary. So these guys would add up to 180, 4 and 5, and 3 and 6 would add up to 180, okay? So the trick on this, you guys, there's a trick on this. Um, uh, if the lines are parallel, if the angles that look like they're congruent, they are congruent. If they don't look like they're congruent, then they're supplementary. Look at like 7, for example, 7 and um, 7 and Three. Can you see this is an obtuse angle right here? This is an obtuse angle right here. So they're, they're congruent to each other. How about seven and two? Can you see two is an acute angle right there? So it's definitely not congruent to this obtuse angle. So these guys would be supplementary. If I got one of these angles, I would know all the rest of them right there. So find the values of x and y. Okay, here we go. All right, so you see that straight line up there at the top? Straight lines are 180, so 115 plus y is 180, so y is 65. And then I'm going to use that with corresponding angles. See those blue corresponding angles right there? x plus 5 equals y, and since y equals 65, then subtract 5, you get x equals 60. Okay, okay, we got parallel lines right here cut by a transversal, and can you see those corresponding angles right there? They're equal to each other, so, so you get x equals 165, all right? And then since um, uh, those guys are equal, see those red angles right there? Those are alternate exterior angles, and alternate exterior angles are equal, so y is 130, okay? Uh, all right, let's take a look at this figure right here, and I will, I'm going to highlight these features. Can you see those corresponding angles? Now look at this. Right there, that confuses kids when it's all one color, but when you just highlight the important stuff, those corresponding angles are equal, y equals 85. Now look at these angles right there. Do you see those alternate interior angles? Those angles are equal also. Those are 45, okay? Let's go back to this. Look, it looks confusing like that, but when you when you can break it down and, and that right there, let's try it again, okay? We got, uh, looks like uh, this is a trapezoid we'll learn about later, but can you see those consecutive interior angles right there? Those guys add up to 180. Okay, so y is 20 when you do that. And similarly, the ones on the bottom also add up to 180, so x is 45. Okay, let's look at this one right here. Can you see that triangle right there? Triangles add up to 180, so all three angles add up to 180 right there. So when you solve for y, you get y equals 12. And then look at those alternate interior angles. 4x equals 52, so x is 13. Okay, how about this one right here? Can you see those corresponding angles? x is 20. Can you see those consecutive interior angles right there? Those add up to 180. Y is 10. Okay, how about this guy right here? It gets a little confusing. Can you see 
those consecutive interior angles right there, they're on the same side of the transversal. My old book called them same-sided interior angles. Our, this book now calls them consecutive interior angles. They're just supplementary. Can you see that's an acute angle? That's an obtuse angle right here. This angle right here is an obtuse angle. So they got to be 180. Remember, they're either congruent or they're 180. So add these guys up to 180 and you get um, x equals 10. All right, when you plug in x equals 10, you find out that this angle is 130. And then this is a vertical angle, so this angle is also equal to 130 right here. So then I'm going to use that to find out uh, why, because these angles are consecutive interior angles. So those are also add up to 180, so you get y equals 25. Okay, ooh, last one. Okay, let's try this, you guys. Can you see the vertical angles right there? So that's a 55 right there, even though it's not x or y right there. And then I'm going to uh, notice that you have those corresponding angles, x equals 65 right there. And you got that 65 and 55. And look at that straight line right there. Straight lines, lines are always 180. So 65 plus 55 plus that angle right there must add up to 180. So you end up getting uh, y is 120.